I think I know what it is, but I could be totally wrong. Oh my god, it's a box full of Le Mer. Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to my vlog. Today I'm gonna just take you guys around Christmas shopping with me and my husband and let's see what we get ourselves into. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. I love beauty. Also, I'm kind of really happy with the way my makeup turned out today. Like I'm kind of looking flawless. This looks too heavy duty. Oh, we'll see. I'll be back. These are pussy willows. I think they're, are they real? I think so. My grandma always used to have these at our house. Willow creations. I kind of really like these. It's for the duck's cage. Yeah. I'm trying to shop for our ducks because we're supposed to be getting like a foot of snow next week or this week. So we want to just kind of enclose their cage so it's like, you know, warm for them because the duckies, they do good in the cold. But their little legs, the, their legs get cold. And I feel bad for them. Oh my God, you guys, I just got a package in the mail and I just opened it and it, it's from La Mer, but I didn't order any La Mer. Mark, what is this? Oh my God, oh my God. Marv is freaking out. I'm freaking out. You guys! Oh my god! I have to just like... My husband... Okay, I, there's a card in it. Morgan with a little heart. I'm shaking. What is this? Oh my god! Thank you so much for shopping with me. Also, here's the updated res Oh my goodness! It's from my personal shopper at Nordstrom! Get out of here! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's a box full of Le Mer! Hey to the channel! Hello. Hello. <laughs> This is my snap, baby back ribs, five bone. My favorite, our favorite Mission Barbecue. We love Mission Barbecue. It's Smoky Mountain. We love Smoky Mountain. And then they have this Baja, it's called. Baja? Um, Baja. Baja. Oh, Baja sauce. And it's so good. You have to ask for it though. It's their hot, I love hot sauce with my like barbecue. And babe, you got, what did you get? A moist uh, brisket sandwich. Oh. Okay, and then I, of course I got my sweet tea. Time to pig in. You guys, so we're parked here and then this car just pulled up. Freaking blaring. What was it called? System of a down. System of a down. So they're blaring it. Like, I, I can't blare it because I can't. I'll get in trouble for copyright. Like, to show you guys what they're actually listening to. But my husband's like, oh yeah, like that's like system of a down. I'm like, what? But my question is this. My question is this, maybe. Mark, you can even answer this. Why do they need to blare it so loud everywhere they go? <laughs> Is there a reason for that? No, I don't that? Like next time I hear somebody like that, like that's cool, like whatever you like, whatever you like, but why are you blaring it with the windows down? Like their windows are down and it's 55 degrees out. That's not that cold out though. 
here. But anyway, I, I just want to know why everything needs to be blared and so loud and in our faces. Like, next time that happens, I'm going to just freaking roll down my windows and blare Britney Spears. I'm asleep. I'm find vanities. I really, really like this vanity a lot. It's in midnight blue. I usually like all white everything, but for some reason, I just really like... Like, I think because I've been watching a lot of, like, Studio McGee stuff and how she always decorates in, like, this navy blue. I think it looks beautiful, to be honest, with the gold. But I don't have my kitchen decorated in gold hardware, and this would be for the guest bathroom, or, like, a bathroom off the kitchen. Does that matter? All white, everything. Is this on display? We're also looking, we're actually at Lowe's right now trying to find snow blowers. You know, they have a ton of beautiful poinsettias. Are they not here? Could be wrong, so maybe they're called before they start. Are they gonna well, have what they call them? No? Okay. in this bank and then they closed it down and I lost my job all within like a week here's the square though oh there's the huts I was reading about these huts a Christmas oh they're holiday pop-up shops babe is there any place we could park quick looks like they're open you don't want to go to them this is the historic downtown wilkes Bear, baby. The line to get, there's two lanes to get into Chick-fil-A. That's wild. That is wild. So many people, they don't want to cook. They all want to eat out. Is Chick-fil-A that good? No. You're the only person that says that. Everybody I talk to loves Chick-fil-A. I've had it plenty of times. It's terrible. Oh. I've uh, never it's, tried. It's all right. It's not that good. I've never tried Chick Fil A. I may be the only person in the world who has never tried Chick Fil A. It's fast food. People love it. It's fast food. People love fast food. I'm I'm going to Cinnabon simply because I only allowed it myself to eat like carbs and whatever I want on Saturdays. And I talk myself out of ordering Cinnabon every weekend, but not this weekend, baby. Not this weekend. This is what happens when you're 31. You just plan your carbs out very carefully. robe moment. Look at that. $95 robe on sale. They're actually $160. Why are these $160? These waffles. Like, how do they keep you warm? 
They're made in Turkey. I I'm not seeing it. I'm not trying to be a jerk, but like, why? Literal bath towel made into a robe. Okay, 120 bucks. These feel like nice. Actually, these are like thick, nice texture. I care about this stuff. <laughs> I really do. Maybe these are supposed to be the waffle ropes. Oh, these are 200. Waffle bathrobe moment. Damn. <laughs> Wait. I've never in my life rub hands with bar and water to remove garlic, onion, and fish odors. Is this even, is that normal? Well, how is stainless steel supposed to remove garlic stains and odors and stuff? Stainless steel is, uh, anti I, yeah, stainless steel is an anti microbe. It is because I use it on my, like under my eyes. Yeah. I didn't know it removes like odors. This is something I would like for a facial moment right here. You use it for your clothes, but I could put it on my face. <laughs> it might burn, but. Mary Samsonite. Samsonite. <laughs> These look amazing. This is so warm. I got a little forky. We got them fresh out of the oven. And this is gonna be, I, this is gonna be amazing. Hold on. Holy smokes, the icing's all melted around it. That, I'm sorry. I don't care who you are, that has to make you excited. Oh, no, good boy. Good boy. You're a good boy, nice, good boy. That's right. Hey guys, okay, so I figured I would just end this video by opening this package that I got in the mail. I think I know what it is, but I could be totally wrong. You just never know around the holidays. I do want to let you guys know this package did arrive very late. My Ugg boots that I ordered very long ago. Um, I did order another item, but it didn't come in this packaging. I just double checked the receipt. They didn't charge me for it, but it is in their new caribou suede color. And guys, whether you like Ugg boots or not, or like the way or don't like the way they look, Ugg boots, let's just face it, are the best things that has happened to the female like gender because we've just been so uncomfortable for so long. Ugg boots, I just, I need a pair at all times in the winter. Okay. I could register my Ugg product. You guys, I've been buying Uggs like, you know, every two years I get a new pair. But this, I really, really liked this because of the color. So it's called Caribou Suede and it's like a cross between brown and gray. It can go either or. And I just really, really, really liked uh, this color. And then right here, and of course it's the I think it's the mini Bailey button too. And I like, cause on the Bailey button it says, Ugg, Ugg, Ugg. And then of course on the back it says, Ugg. I tried ordering these from the Ugg website and they were sold out. So then I was able to get them on the Nordstrom website. Um, it is December 12th. They were supposed to be here by the 4th. So definitely shipping is taking a very long time but I'm happy they're here because we're supposed to be getting one, like a foot of snow this week, so. I didn't want a ridiculous tall pair. Fernie, what do you think? They're caribou. Just the name. Okay, so I am a size seven. I've always been a true seven in Ugg boots. Once, at first when you try them on, they may feel a little tight, but um, that's just because of the padding is this all shearling. So once the shearling gets packed down, then you'll be able to fit in them more. But let's, let's uh, put them on. Oh, they're so cute. How cute are they? Oh, you can't see. They're perfect. I just need a little cardigan, right? Look like at a cute little cardigan. Do you love or do you love? I'm gonna go show my husband. Babe, I got my Ugg boots. You wanna see them? Oh my God, I have hiccups. Look, they're cute, right? Oh, they're nice. 
Right? You like the collar? They're honestly just exactly what I wanted. I hope you like this unboxing. I thought I was gonna get another thing of skincare to go with them. Um, I do have another product coming. I just don't know when it's gonna get here, but thanks for tuning into this vlog. I hope you liked it. Uh, this was just a really fun random Friday or Saturday night out with me and my husband. So thanks so much for tuning in. And if you haven't done so, subscribe below. Love you guys. Bye.